As soon as you remove those balls, the oil pump can be removed. And this is the typical oil pump. And this is the O-ring that uh, keep the oil inside of the transmission. This is the O-ring that we are going to replace. As I explained before, the secret in the hydraulic head transmission or automatic transmission is that uh, all the chaps are hollow chaps. What is the meaning of that? All the chaps, they are one inside of the other one, like a telescopic situation. This is a, this is a, this particular situation. Remember when I explained the torque converter that uh, with the stator in the torque converter, the oil return into the transmission. This element enter over there and the oil goes over there and return into the oil pan of the transmission. The oil circulate in between the pump and the turbine, push the, the turbine against the face of uh, the housing of uh, the torque converter and the oil return, return into the transmission, into the oil pan. Uh, this is the oil pump. This is the magic oil pump. And uh, the oil pump, when you disassemble the oil pump, we are going to disassemble the oil pump right now, we found it a crescent oil pump. A crescent oil pump with internal gear and the crescent uh, in between both gears. Now we are going to disassemble the oil pump. We remove the bolts. And now this is the last bolt. And we are ready to check the oil pump internally. And uh, this is the oil pump. This is a crescent, crescent gear oil pump. That's the crescent, and that's the, the external gear. If you order the kits, you receive those gears. Those gears, and uh, this is uh, the typical crescent oil pump. Uh, this, is, uh, this is the input, this is the input, and this is the output. And uh, this is the typical oil pump. Yeah. This is the input and output, and this is the pressure regulator. The pressure regulator is installed over there. Uh, this is the, e the input shaft of the transmission, and uh, this is the disassembly of the oil pump.